Thanks for joining me today. Uh, today we're going to be picking chamomile out of my garden and dehydrating that for tea. So let me show you what I have and how I process that. And uh, as you can see the chamomile behind me, I've got quite a bit that's already blooming. So I'm just going to cut that. going to be doing is just cutting some of this chamomile and I grow this every year and dehydrate it. It's very easy to do. I make it into tea and I've got quite a bit of it here. Although in all honesty it takes a lot of chamomile to make tea. So I'm going to cut off the ones I have. I have a lot of new buds that will start to grow as soon as I pull these off. In another month, I'll probably have some more. So let me just get working on this. And then I'll show you the next step. It's really easy. So these are the chamomile petals that I actually was able to pick. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and just dehydrate these. Now I'm going to cut off some of the stems, but I'm going to dehydrate these petals on the stems just so they don't fall through the cracks. Uh, I don't really have a dehydrator that has all the little things that hold them, so I'm going to go ahead and just get these put together, and then I will take the I'll go ahead and take these off the stems just as soon as I get them all laid out. So I've got about four trays. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this done. Shouldn't take me too long, but I wanna kinda of separate them the best I can. And I'll show you how it looks as soon as I'm done. So this is the chamomile, the way I have it laid out. I'm, I ended up getting five trays out of it. I'm gonna go ahead and just plug this in and get it started dehydrating. And then I will show you how I get that ready for tea. So if you remember how big the chamomile was when I put everything on this tray, there was so much more to it. So when things get dehydrated, what happens is that they just get so much smaller, so much more tiny, but that's fine. I mean, we're going to use it for tea. You really don't need a ton of it to make a nice cup of tea. And I've got five of these different containers. So basically, I mean, you could use the stem and the little flowers if you want, or you could just use the little flowers. It's completely up to you. I just kind of take everything off the stems, including the leaves, and those are what I use when I'm, when I'm making tea. So I've got a couple ways that I can do it. Um, I actually save my old jars whenever I have spaghetti or something, and I, I just put little stickers on the top and glue what it is that I'm saving, maybe like a little picture of it, and it's just an inexpensive way to be able to store something. And then I've also got tea bags that I buy in bulk. So I'm going to do both. I'm going to show you how this works and the easiest way to do this. And um, and it's, it's actually really easy. I'm going to kind of take the stems and put those to one side. I just kind of crumble everything and everything comes right off. It's seems like a really difficult process but it's not in five minutes i'll be done with this whole thing and you get a lot of um you know you think of how much tea goes into a tea bag you actually get quite a bit now like i said uh earlier yesterday when i was picking all this out in the garden um, many of the things that I grow are things that I use all throughout the year. So I love being able to have these things on hand. Now they're not all huge savings of money, but 
I'll tell you what, they add up when you are trying to, you know, live on a budget or maybe save your money for something or, you know, really just dealing with inflation these days, everything can be a little bit more difficult. So let me get some of this picked up and I'm gonna show you how I uh, get this ready to put into the jar. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with this first batch is I just kind of put this on wax paper. I just try to get it as neat as possible. As you can see, there's still a few stems in here. I don't worry about any of that. It's all gonna turn out really fine. And all I'm gonna do is just put this right up to my jar. Now, some of these did fall onto my table, not the end of the world. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna put these back onto the wax paper. And I'm just gonna put them back into my jar. And that's it. You can see I've got a little bit of chamomile started. So uh, I'm gonna put a little bit more in some of these trays and then I'm also gonna set some up in these tea bags. And they're very easy to do if you wanna just have a few things of tea available so that you're, you know, you can have your tea without having to go to all the trouble of, you know, setting up a, take your loose leaf and put it into a tea bag. I'll show you how to do that as well. So for all that work, this is how much I got out of my chamomile. But it is really, really, really good. I know that uh, there are no pesticides or anything being used. And honestly, I drink a lot of different kinds of tea, so I did leave my bushes out in my garden, so I should be getting more in the next month or so, and I will dehydrate them, and at some point I'll probably have close to a jar of chamomile. So let me show you how I make this into tea bags. So all I do, I buy these on Amazon in bulk. They're just little, they're just little tea bags. These are the natural ones. I just take a scoop full of tea, and I just put this right inside of my tea bag. Now you can do this ahead of time and you can have some chamomile uh, for another day. And all I do is just pull this little string on these tea bags. They have all different kinds that you can get, but there's a little bag of chamomile tea. So I decided to just make a little cup of chamomile tea. I like mine with honey. So I am just going to put a little bit of honey into my tea while it steeps. And give it a little stir. It smells so good. I can't even begin to tell you. Of course, it smells so good in here really just because, uh, you know, I've been dehydrating those chamomile leaves. So just my whole kitchen, my whole house smells amazing. So this is how you make chamomile tea. And uh, this is the process of, you know, picking, growing, picking and dehydrating and even storing your chamomile. So um, let me just take a little drink for you. I'm going to continue to steep these, but I I do want to uh, just take a quick little drink. There you go. That is delicious. It's so good. It's so calming and chamomile is so great to have like when you're anxious or when you can't sleep or what have you. So I'm gonna to continue to steep this just so I can make mine a little bit stronger. But enjoy your day. I hope you will give this tea a try and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.